Bendiciones. Bendiciones, family. Man, man, man. You know, there's a saying. There's a saying that says, um, if you keep campaigning, you will get elected. Okay? And this absolutely applies to this situation. If you campaign hard enough, you will get elected. ISIS wisdom, uh, you know, please bring yourself to the front of the congregation. We, the, 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 the community of African traditional religion would like to have a word with you, okay? So why am I saying this, family? Why am I saying this? Because I don't understand why people like to play on my top or like to throw their little subliminal stuff or do what they want to do and talk their shit, okay? <sighs> now, for those who don't know, you know, Isis Wisdom, you know, she and Rashad Jamal, they was pretty, they, they was hanging pretty tight, you know, before all that debacle happened, that that was one of his allies. He was one of her allies, you understand? And, um, you know, since all of this has happened, she has been a strong supporter of his through this whole ordeal of him getting caught up with this case, this, that, and the third. Okay, so she's uh, what what y'all be calling yourself a nine ether beings of the planet Kai? <clears throat> she's a she she's one of them. Okay, it just so happens. It just so happens that she is one that also has a a, a fan base behind her, right? So pretty much, let's dive into some of the nonsense. Apparently, Isis Wisdom is upset. You know, um, she 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 doesn't want to just come out and say King Brujo, but she's upset about things that have been said about Rashad Jamal. Mind you, for the record, I never disrespected Rashad Jamal. I never came out. It did, all I did was point out facts. I told you he wasn't going to get bond. He didn't get bond. He came out talking some bullshit about our beloved Orisha. So I came and I corrected it because too many people were seeing that. Now, she apparently had a problem because she, see, she decided to upload the video um, later in the day after I uploaded my video, okay? In which apparently she has a problem with things that are spoken about Arisha. Uh-uh. The only one that you need to have a problem with is your boy for spitting that misinformation, talking about Yimmy Ye and all this other old weird ass shit he was talking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play a video. Um, I, yeah, so Isis Wisdom can come to the front of the congregation. I'm going to play a video of Isis, you know, popping her shit, popping her shit. And, uh, you know, we're going to go from there, family. We're going to have a bill from there. You know, we're going to, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to stick on this too long. I'm going to touch and go on, on this situation, but y'all just got to understand that I'm not going to let nobody play on my top and I'm not going to let nobody play with the Orisha and, and, and I'm not going to let nobody play with the tradition like that because why fuck that i'm a child of Eshu, and Eshu was sent to do the will of alu dumare to make sure that his laws was being followed to make sure all the other reaches was doing what they were supposed to do so it's in my nature to be checking shit so when y'all see me come on here and i be checking shit it's because i'm i'm a needed aspect of the universe as a child of Eshu that is here to check the nonsense. That's what I do. That's what I'm here for. 
So when you see me come on here and I rock with and I and I'm doing that and I'm rocking like that, understand. That's my father coming through me, that issue coming through me. Because I'm not going to sit here and let the fuckery just go on. And I'm just sitting here not saying shit, knowing damn well I'm coming from the tradition. So uh, with that being said, Queen, you have been elected. If you live near an ocean or you live near a river, try to go to the beach and meditate. Try to go to the beach and take your spiritual baths at the beach. Ask Yimaya to bless you and remove all negative energy off your body and she will remove it. Bring her some offerings, bring her some fruit, bring her some gin as an offering, okay? Because you don't just ask and don't give something in return. Okay, so before you telling people to go to Yemaya, are you telling them that they need to make sure that Eshu is taken care of before they even go to Yemaya? Or are you just telling people to just be going to spirits? See, this is the shit I'll be talking about. You getting these people that's coming from um, these, these more of these new age concepts that came after Ali Esther Crossley, and they come and spit in this stuff. That's what you're seeing here is just in a black person. But understand that before you seen a black person do this, white people was already on this wave where they where everything is just everything. And, and, and we could just do it how we want to do it, man, and fill the world, man. Yeah, no, this is not what this is with Orisha tradition. Okay, take that shit somewhere else. But this is not where we do that at. So now you're telling people to go to the ocean and give an offering to Yamaya without taking care of Eshu. So that means does the offering even get to Yamaya? Because Eshu is who takes the offering to the heavens. He is the one who delivers the offering. And so that's why he is always fed first. You give the offering first and then you ask. You pray into your food. You pray into the gin. You pray into it. And after you're done praying to it with, with, with positive intentions, then you give it to mother at the ocean. That's not what you do. <laughs> People in the practice, come on my shit and sound off because really, now, if this is, is becoming a standoff. This is becoming a standoff between those that are trying to uphold the sanctity of the tradition and those that's trying to water our shit down. We're not going to let people come and water down our traditions. And I've been kicking that shit since, the, since forever. I'm with that Maji, not philosophy. I don't believe in watering down traditions. I, I was kicking that shit. Uh, me, me and my good brother, uh, Bakor Elmira, no more watered down voodoo. No more watered down Ifa. No more watered down uh, any other traditions from these people that want to come in the tradition and water it down for likes and views. So if that means that my page don't blow to 500,000 subscribers, fuck it then. I don't care because at the end of the day, I'm going to uphold the principles of my grandmom's tradition. I shake. And give her some gin. And then get in the waters and then allow mama to clean you off. You're going to see a difference. Okay? And you can do that also with Oshun at the river. Make sure you bring some honey and make sure you taste it first before you give it to her. So you just gonna bring Oshun honey, that's it? Let's understand this as well when we're talking about our mama Oshun. Oshun is also the Orisha that you don't wanna anger. Oshun is also the Orisha that you don't wanna anger. So when you're going and you're doing these things, 
this is where we get this malpractice because no respectable priest or priestess in the tradition will tell you to just do these things. They're not going to tell you to do it like that. First of all, you didn't even feed Eshu. So we just skipping that part. Second of all, we skipping the part where we honoring ancestors before we even calling on the Orisha. Let's start with that one. Did we even get to the point where we doing opening incantations in order to call forth those Orisha and those forces? No, we just skip all that and go talking to go talking to some fruit and throw it in the water. This is what I'm talking about. Don't ever give her honey and you don't taste it first. I want you guys to understand, um, and I've been seeing some crazy shit coming out of people's mouths about the Orisha. And, and Yo, who are you talking to? Because the only person I heard crazy shit coming out of their mouth with Orisha is your boy Rashad Jamal. That's the only one that I heard some crazy shit coming out the what the mouth dealing with Orisha. So who is you talking to? I was about the Orisha and, and, and people that are very ignorant and low vibrational speaking on things that they don't know nothing about. And you guys already know. Like your boy, Rashad Jamal, because he was the one doing that. No, this is the weird shit I'll be talking about, family. This is the weird shit. And then when I come go off, motherfuckers want to act like, oh, King Brujo, the wildin', doing this. Fuck that. I'm not with that nut ass shit. And you're going to know I'm not with that nut ass shit. Point blank. I'm not finna let people play on my top. And I'm not finna let people play with Orisha. Look at her talking crazy. Man. Um, and I've been seeing some crazy shit coming out of people's mouths about the Orisha and, and, and people that are very ignorant and low vibrational speaking on things that they don't know nothing about. Uh, and you guys already know I'm an Ifa priest. I don't hide that. I've been letting y'all know that from the very beginning. For Who an Ifa priest? Who initiated you? Where you go to get your initiation? Or did you go? You said Ifa. You didn't say Santaria. So did you go to Nigeria and get and get initiated as that priest? Because if that didn't happen, you not no Ifa priest. Let's let's call that what it is. It's no Ifa initiation where you becoming a priest of uh, Arisha that's happening in America. That's not where they do that at. You got to go to these sites that still holding that energy of that Orisha there that is still housing that Orisha. Do you know that there's places in Nigeria? Oh my God, let me, let, let me even just say one, right? The Cove of Oshun, where people go to give reverence to Oshun. And it's crazy because the entrance of that cove, it looks like a, a vagina. It, even the top of it, it looks like a clitoris. Um, and that's where people go into uh, to do. It's a very sacred site. As a matter of fact, when the British <clears throat> were invading, we were able to run into some of these places um, and they were not able to capture us. They were not able to penetrate that. And, uh, and Oshun's Cove was one of them. Okay. So she talking about she if our priest, who's your Baba who initiated you? Because if you if our priest, then there should be a string of Baba Labus that you could just name that was a part of that. And not only that, there should be some type of footage, proof, something. Let me tell y'all something, family, because I'm tired of this fuckery going on in the game. I'm about to start bringing on some real Ifa priests and priestesses and showing the footage from their ceremonies and all that. I'm about to start bringing on real people in the practice because fuck that shit. So because a lot of real people in the practice, they don't got platforms because 
a lot of people didn't move with the time of internet stuff or or care to be all in internet stuff. And so me as having a platform, I'm about to just start opening that door more for my brothers and sisters from various traditions. And I'm gonna start bringing them forth to y'all so that y'all can get the perspective from somebody that went through these processes and they could really give you a real point of view. That's what I'm about to start doing for the family. But in me doing that, y'all gotta fuck with me. Y'all need to really fuck with me. Um, be subscribing to the channel, sharing the content, getting the word out there to people to come through and learn these real indigenous practices. Because I'm really about to start opening that door. But if I'm gonna start opening that door, y'all gonna start showing love on this motherfucker too. Because we got too many people like this that's gonna come on here talking a nonsense and we can't have that overpowering the real shit. We cannot have this nonsense where people just self-proclaim themselves to be a priest and just overpower everything because they walk around with some elekes on. Ah, that don't make you no priest because you walk around with eleke. Ah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't have time to play with these type of folk. You've been rocking with me for a minute. Look. I don't know nothing about. And you guys already know I'm a Yifar priest. I don't hide that. I've been letting y'all know that from the very beginning for those who've been rocking with me for a minute. But I think there's some misconstruity where people think that the Risha are only um, with the Yoruba tribe. The Yoruba tribe has about 16 million people. So there's about 16 million Yoruba in Nigeria. 16 million, right? The Ifa tradition is practiced over the entire planet. Let me tell you why that is. No, let me tell you why that is. The reason that that we find Orisha tradition practiced all over the planet is because Yoruba people went all over the planet. That's why we see that. So when we're looking into different ATRs, what we're finding remnants of Yoruba tradition there is because Yoruba people went there. And now in today's age where you can fly and move and relocate, guess what? It's just busted wide open now where you got sectors of, of Yoruba people all over that came from Nigeria and they spread it out. Also, you can't forget the fact that Benin, places which is ancient Daomi, which is modern day Benin and Togo, also have hands in Orisha tradition as well. They have their voodoo but they also have connections to Orisha tradition. And there's even Ifa that you can find there. So understand that when we're talking about Ifa, Ifa is something that spread all over West Africa. So wherever that you see people that's coming from these certain places, you will find remnants of Ifa there, or you will just find the whole tradition there because those people ended up in these places. And that's why today you find Ifa all over the world. And we cannot forget the fact that people can jump on a plane and fly to the UK. And with that, they bring in a tradition with them. So even today, it got sped up. That's why. Because even for the native indigenous peoples, we also dealt with the Orisha. Ah, when she's saying native uh, people, she's talking about aboriginals to america if you are aboriginal to america you have your own set of traditions that follow so you don't need to piggyback off of orisha stuff if you saying that you aboriginal if you saying that you've been on the land you got your own culture that's where you need to go dig and go find that because when we're talking about these nature spirits and things like that these energy streams changed according to where they were in the world and the, and the offerings that they took and everything is very different and they carry different vibrations to them. And you can tell the difference when you're working with them. Okay? You can, Thor is similar to Shango, but treat Shango like you treat Thor and see what the results that you get. Give Shango the offering that you would have given to Thor and see if anything moved for you. See how that works out for you. Even though they literally represent 
the same principles in nature. You got to understand that just because you have the same mother and father doesn't make you the same. Even if you came out of that mother and father at the same time as a twin, you're still different. You could even look alike, but you're different. And that's the part about these traditions that people today is not understanding. Shango is Shango. Thor is Thor. There's no mixing that. If you are a Native American and you're saying that you're Aboriginal, then you have your own set of traditions. And that's what you need to go dig into because that's going to click to your bloodline. That's going to click to your ancestry. You don't have to come jumping all into West African teams. You can leave that to the people that have the lineage there or that have a claim to there. And this is what I'll be talking about with these new conscious people where they're coming on here and one person can be Kemet, Israelite, Aboriginal, West African, and an Anunnaki, all in one person, that one person. This is what I'm talking about. And then religiously, they, they believe in certain aspects of the Bible, but then also they believe in chakras, and then also they believe in calling Sekhmet, and then also they believe in calling Kalima, and then also they're a child of Oshun, all one person. And then on the side, they also throw tarot, and then they also uh, do astrology stuff, and then, you know, on the back end, you know what I'm saying? They just walk around outside naked and call it grounded. This is the shit I'll be talking about. I'm not finna play with y'all because y'all watering down the tradition and y'all putting bullshit in the game. And the thing is, if we're not careful, if we check 50 years from now, the tradition will be deaded. That's what I'm, because this internet is dangerous. It can make misinformation spread like a virus. And so we have to be careful and selective on who's speaking and who we accepting this out of their mouth. The Orisha are forces of nature. Okay? So for anyone to say, oh, well, I'm disconnected from that. Well, you're just ignorant as hell. That means you're disconnected from everything that God got going on on this planet. That means you're disconnected from Gaia. Now, the cultural practices of the tradition has a generalized theme to it. This is not religion. This is a tradition, meaning way of life. Ifa itself... You see the contradiction? So it is Yoruba. That's my point. It is Yoruba. Because it's not... Blackfoot is not Cherokee, it's Yoruba. Like I said, these people come on here and they just contradict themselves for the sake of making arguments. Take that shit on Sarnetta somewhere and go debate some fucking body. But over here, we're not dealing with that. And this is where young people like me that still got the fire in their bones have to do the work that the elders, maybe they too tired to do that part. And we have to come out here and combat the fuckery within our own culture. Because if we don't do it, we will be the reason that it go bye-bye. And that's not gonna happen. Why? Because we young, we full of fire, and we not about that bullshit. It's very cosmic. If we take the time out to study the Odoos, okay? Ah, does she know anything about Odu? Ah, family, y'all in the practice, sound off. People come out and they say things out their mouth and they say that this isn't the tradition and they don't even practice it as much as we practice it over here and this, that, and the third. Well, let me explain something to you. They know who they are over there. Do you know who you are over here? Do you know who you are? They don't have a damn suppressor who does not look like you that is your enemy suppressing them and turning everything into their image over there that's not true that if if you ask anybody connected to nigeria you will understand that uh china has totally uh invaded nigeria as far as how they move the economy and everything 
and other groups of people have invaded West Africa the same way. Okay, so understand when people be talking like this, they not even connected to nobody over there. Right now, if you go on my community section, you will even just see me posting my good friend who is a Babalawu. He's originally from Bahamas. Um, and, you know, me and him were just talking about him taking even further steps because he was already initiated into different Orisha and taking a further step into Egungu initiation um, and me taking further steps amongst my journey, right? Uh, but right now, he's right now, right in Nigeria. Understand, right now, I got other people that's in Nigeria that tell me what's happening. You understand? I know what's happening on the ground because I got people on the ground. And this is clearly somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. And for to furthermore, who knows you for putting in that real work? Or are you just another philosopher? Because if you also go through my community section, you're going to find a lot of testimonials about work. And I don't even post most of my testimonials. I post a snippet here and there. And that's because why people already know how I get down with this. I don't have to be posting testimonials all the time. But once in a while, I post them. Why? Because I like people to feel good about seeing the work of the loa. Because when I'm doing work for people, that's what I'm using, voodoo, and I'm using the loa. So that's how I'll be rocking. But who know Isis wisdom for putting in my G? Who know her for putting in work? Who know her for doing any of that? Can you go through this woman and get initiated into Ifa? Where is she going to initiate you into Ifa? She doing Alabama <laughs> initiations? Like, come on, man. We had that over here. So when you make dumbass comments like that out of your mouth, I want you guys to understand that the only reason why we're in the conditions that we're in right now is because we lack our traditions and spirituality. And because they disconnected you and didn't let you, didn't, didn't want to give you the correct classification. Of Yo, what is she talking about? And listen to how she tries to cover up all of this nonsense with a pro-black point of view after. This is where you get caught out there, family. I want y'all to pay attention indigenous this corporational system didn't want to do that these fuckers went out here and turned around and rebranded us and called us something else and then we bought into the program and you sitting up there think that you don't need help your ass is lost you don't even know who you are you see what she did right there that was a manipulation that's what all of them do every time when they come feeding y'all bullshit they always going to cover it up with pro-blackness or white supremacy talking point. Every time. And this is how you catch the Umar special. This is how you catch the brother polite delight. Okay? Because they're going to come out here. They're going to feed you black power and underhand you at the same time. And they get by every time. That's how Rashad Jamal got away with that bullshit. He was talking about Arisha and I had to come and call him out on it. That's how that happens. Because when he started to get into pro-black talk, you just somehow get mesmerized and you forget all the nonsense he just spoke to you because now he's making you feel good about being black. No, you need to just feel good about being black and then nobody can come and make you and, and that's just like a woman. If, if, if she does not know that she's beautiful, she can be vulnerable for somebody to come in her life and take advantage of her just by saying that she's beautiful because she's not used to being called beautiful. She's not used to feeling good about herself. So now a man can just creep in, slide in, and just say bullshit to her. And she's going to go with it because she don't feel good about herself inside. And that's how where we have come as melanated people, where anybody can just come say shit to make us feel good about ourselves for once. And we'll just go with the shit. Fuck it. Just ignore all the nonsense that they put into. Ignore all the criminality behind them. Ignore molestation charges that these people was bringing in the community. Domestic violence that people was bringing into the community. Abuse of women that people bringing into the community. Why? Because then they get to talking about 
white supremacy and, and, and black power. And now you done forgot all that. This is the shit I be talking about. And that's why I'm always going to be that one that either you're going to love me or you're going to hate me. But if you hate me, you need to look inside yourself and see the real reason why you hate me. And that's what it is for today, family. Isis Wisdom, you have been elected, sister, by the congregation of Orisha devotees. Eh? Stop the fuckery, sister. Stay in your lane and do what you came here to do. Stay in your lane, okay? Do what you good at, all right? You don't have to come doing all the extra shit. Just stay what you good at. You and Rashad, it sounds like you taught Rashad Jamal the bullshit he know. It sounds like Isis Wisdom is the one who was teaching Rashad Jamal that nonsense. And I'm going to leave it there. I'll get at y'all in the next one. Y'all going to see me really turning up in a minute, man. I shall. Sure.